Did you know that in Adobe InDesign, you can add interactivity to offer a range of benefits, including enhanced user engagement through clickable links, buttons, and forms. Now this can provide easy navigation with features like bookmarks and hyperlinks, improving the overall user experience. Want to learn how? Then check out this pro tip. So with the document open, the first thing you will want to do is create a trigger for the interactive element. When I'm working with interactivity in InDesign, I'll typically create a separate layer. I'll call this links and place any button triggers on this layer. Once you have a navigation system in your document, on the links layer, first draw a trigger frame. You can do this by creating a simple frame on top to define the clickable area. With the clickable frame in place, come up to window and scroll down and activate your hyperlinks panel. With this open, you can click on the top right menu and click new hyperlink. Upon click, a menu will appear. From here, you can determine what kind of interaction you would like to apply to the frame when clicked. By clicking the drop down, you can choose a range of actions. In this instance, I'll choose page. Here you can type in a number and below you can set a range of settings from zoom through to highlight effect. Once you click okay, you will now see a hyperlink listed in the panel. Next, I'll create another frame. With it selected, click on the top right menu on the hyperlinks panel, create a new hyperlink, and this time I'll choose URL. In here, you will be able to customize the same settings, but this time add a website address. By using this technique, soon you will begin to build up links in your hyperlink panel. When you have established links in your document, you will then want to export it out to be used properly. By pressing Command plus E on Mac or Control plus E on PC, you will open the export menu. To enable your interactive features to work, you will first need to click on the format option and select Adobe PDF Interactive. Click save and you will be presented with a new menu. Here you can set a range of options from general to security. Depending on your document type, you will also want to apply the appropriate viewing options. Once you have applied all your settings, click export. InDesign will do its thing and your PDF should then open in Acrobat Reader. If done successfully, you will now be able to click on your clickable areas, jump to specific pages and click to open URLs. Excellent. So that's how you can add simple interactivity to your InDesign document. For more pro InDesign tips and tricks, check out the channel and be sure to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, unleash your creativity and I'll see you in the next one.